Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. This is Twinning with Rice and Cookie. I'm Rice. And I'm Cookie, and today we are playing more of Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. So, um, did, you, did you get to play any of it? Yes, I actually have a huge update for you. So hang on, let me just share the game screen. There's nothing significant about this moment. I was just waiting for Rice to be ready to stream, so I kind of just like started the next chapter. So, as far as this game goes, last time we had stopped at chapter 11 and we hadn't finished it, but we had lost, um, why can't I think of their name, that white mage? Um, uh, do you know it, Argus? I, can't I think know it. it. I know, I know it, but I can't think of it. It's Arter, and I only know that because of Argus. Okay, yes, Arter. Um, yeah, so we had lost Arter, but then when, because I, I, I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna play some, at least finish this chapter as homework. So as I was playing, it was like misty, and so um, Irika had died, and so that was an automatic game over. So since I restarted the chapter, then Arter was alive again, so that's cool. And um, so I beat it, no one died. And then I played the next level, and so, just so you know the premise for like what's going on in the story, not that it really matters. They're like working their way through the mountains, and so like the dancer girl, her little brother is like a mage, and his like teacher lives in the mountains, and so he's like, oh, I know the way. And then, um, but then he like got trapped in a house, cause the, and then there are all these bad guys around him, and so we rescued him, he joined our group, and, um, and so then, Argus actually helped me out because I was like cooking dinner and I had no time, but I wanted to train this new mage kid because mm. he was like a trainee. You know, he's designed to be super weak, but like he's got lots of potential. So there were a couple of levels just for leveling up, you know, not actual yeah. chapters in the story. So um, Argus did those and leveled that kid up for us. And also, um, I don't know if you remember Amelia. She was a new recruit and she's also like a trainee and she's pretty weak at the start. But I was like, this girl's got potential. I know she does. So I was forcing her. I do her remember. <laughs> so I was forcing her to fight. And then, um, and so Argus had also helped train her too with those two training levels. So now they've actually both promoted because they're like, since they're the trainee, then like they can promote once and then they promote again, whereas most characters only promote one time. So that's where we're at. And right Sounds now, good. yeah. And so as far as the story goes, there's a guy right now who like before chapter 12, this guy was like, he's talking to Irika, but he's like one of the bad guys. Um, but they kind of talked things out and he was like, oh, go ahead, I'll, uh, I'll help protect you. And then he died because one of his like cronies um, killed him. But I then see. that crony told that guy's brother that um, Irika killed him, which isn't true. Mm. But now um, the guy's brother is trying to kill us. So that's what's going on. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I wanted to show everybody. So the reason why we're starting a little late is because I was making whipped cream for my shortcake. So I wanted to show Let's everybody my, my shortcake. It looks good. You can't see the shortcake at all, really, because the strawberries. <laughs> it's by strawberries. Yeah. Oops. But it sounds so delicious. Oh, I it is so some. delicious. <laughs> we're having, we had it yesterday, and we're also going to have it um, tomorrow as well, because I made six, six pieces of shortcake. So since there's two of us over three days, okay. but I'm really excited because tomorrow mm -hmm. I decided to take the day off for my anniversary. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. So we're going golfing at this really nice course. Um, and our tea time is so early because it was $10 cheaper per person. And I'm like, that's 20 bucks. Yeah. Like, that's worth you know, it. That's yeah. So um, so our tea time is at like six, I think it's 624. In the morning? In the morning. Wow. But, but that means we're going to finish before the heat of the day. Yeah. That's totally worth it. <clears throat> yeah. Is it far so, away this course? It's like half an hour. Okay. You're going to have to get up really early. Um, yeah. I mean, we woke up early today because 
see you, Tiger, had to, he had to go into work today. Mm-hmm. Um, and he starts work at 6.30, so we're going to wake up kind of the same time as what we do for when he works. Okay. And Zapper's here with some hype elephants. I see that. And some Hi, KFC kernels. That is the KFC kernel, right? Oh, yeah, it is. I couldn't <laughs> even tell what it was, but you're absolutely right. Zapper, look at my shortcake. Yeah, it's and homemade with cake. cream. Makes all the there. difference. There's a little bit of a... Uh, oh, which way's the camera? Oh, a tiny bit of shortbread? Yeah, I, I can't and actually show the shortcake. Cake. Shortcake. Yeah. But yeah, so... Um, and Sea Tiger has the day off tomorrow. Anyways. Okay. So he doesn't have to take a day, but I do. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to go golfing. Um, we're thinking about going to a Thai and Burmese place that we really like. That sounds good. Um, and then, and then I told Steve Jagger, I'm like, if we're tired after golf, we can always take a nap because since the tea time is so early, a nap might be good. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then, so we're thinking of doing the Thai for lunch, like after golf. Yeah. And then dinner, we're like, eh, we'll just eat whatever we have in the house. Yeah. But that's our that's our big plan for the anniversary. I think that sounds really good. Mm-hmm. And for anyone watching, golf is pretty significant in our relationship because it was our first date. It is. Or was. So. Yeah. So um, so golfing for the anniversary is always good. Yeah. I think, um, I don't know, I feel like me and Argus never really had a first date. I feel like mm. we never really dated. It was more um, just hanging out. I I feel like we never dated. I kind of wish I went on like a date, you know, like that you see in movies where like. Yeah, like dinner in a movie. Yeah, or even just like going out to dinner and like they come pick you up. I don't know, it just sounds kind of fun and I feel like I didn't really get that. Yeah. I mean, well, the thing is, I guess our golf outing, we weren't, it wasn't a date. Right. Because right. we were just golfing as friends and then it led into us dating. Yeah. Um, and Zapper, what is that a picture of? Because it kind of looks like a dreidel and it kind of looks like an acorn, but also there's a face on it. I think it's a dreidel now that you say that, but I honestly thought it was an orangutan face with like this giant ear. <laughs> 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 but I think I think it's a dreidel. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's my big plan on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um. And then on Friday I'm working because, uh, you know, we don't get Friday off, but right. we do get the floater holiday. But yeah, I'm just gonna work and, uh, you know, and then go into the weekend. Yeah. But this weekend, oh, and so Zephyr says I'm right, so it is a drill. Okay. Okay, so it's not an orangutan face. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but we're thinking about trying a new bike path this weekend. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Wait, the bike path I'm looking at, it, um, it ends near an ice cream shop. Ooh. So I thought that we could stop by there, but also, is I'm not sure how long, what? Is that the ice cream shop that um, that we like going to, or a different one? Different one? A different one. Um, and it's actually like going east, like okay. northeast is this bike path. Um, so, so the thing is, I don't know how long it's going to take us to get to this ice cream shop because it's possible that we might not even make it that far. Okay. I don't know. Um, but if we do decide to do a longer ride then we'll reach the ice cream shop um now i just want to the only th the only thing is i'm just not sure like how early the ice cream shops open because if they open at noon it's gonna be super hot like i don't want to get there for ice cream and then have right. to bike back in the heat now i just wanted to give you some news as far okay. as like our gaming setup here at the apartment so um argus bought a new monitor and it's like huge and so that's why i'm like sitting so far back because as it was i was like too close it's so big i just 
I am, I mean, Argus already knows I'm like disappointed. I don't like it, but. Um, so is it more of a movie experience? I guess. Because the thing is, he was selling all these different things that he has, like an extra Game Boy and like uh, um, an amp for one of his guitars because he had like since upgraded and stuff. Mm -hmm. Or I guess it was just the pedal, but you know, whatever. So he's selling all these different things to raise money so that he could buy a new guitar pedal. But then he decided, oh wait, this monitor's on sale. I think I'll get the monitor. So I was just kind of mad because like he was saving up for the pedal, but then he's like, oh, I'll just get the monitor. And the monitor is like huge. And as I said, I'm just not a fan. I'm not used to it. But it is like, I recognize that it is a better monitor. Like not just is it bigger, but like the pixel ratio, whatever. I don't really care about such things, but, um, but he does. And so I recognize it's better, but I don't like it. Hmm. So that's it, maybe I, that quick little rant is over, so. Well, it'll be interesting whenever we start streaming again. Yeah, together. you'll have to sit back here like me, because. Zebra says, is it an OG Game Boy? Well, it was like a Game Boy Micro, and then I think he was selling it along with a couple of games, and it had like a carrying case, too. Um, but. Yeah, so he sold that, which I think they're they're really cool. I've never actually played anything on a micro. Like I I have a micro, I just haven't played anything on it because like the screen is. You just have so it, tiny. but you've never used it. Well, because Argus gave it to me, kind of because like he bought himself a new one, I think, or like one that was in better condition because you can't really buy them new anymore. Um, yeah. So I think that's how I got it, but so I haven't played anything on it. I've wanted to, like, like I said, the screen is really small, so it's like I'd rather play on the SP. Yeah. Um, yeah Zebras is very cool. Those things are tiny. Yeah, like they are really tiny. If you don't, they're kind of like the size of a harmonica almost, Rice. Okay, that's really small. I mean, they're not quite, they're not that narrow and they're not quite that long. They're, it's more, rec or I can't say more rectangular, but. Um, I don't know. You should just do a quick little Google search. I think I think I've seen yours. You probably have. At one point. Yeah. Well, I wanted to tell oh. you because oh. here's a micro. <laughs> here's the case. Okay. Here, I'm trying to yeah. So pretty pretty tiny. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I wanted to tell you. Too. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? Well, it's totally unrelated. So if you're gonna say something else about the micro, go for it. Oh no, that was that was it. Okay. Um, so you know how we golfed with? Um, oh, Zephyrus is do a side by side with something. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Ugh. Okay. So here's the micro. I feel like I need to have like a paper behind it or something. Here's I a see it. regular Game Boy Advance. Okay. And then um, then here's the SP like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Zephyrus is holding it next to a dollar bill, but I think that's sufficient. Yeah, I don't have a dollar bill around here. Um, but yeah, so I was going to say how, you know how CU Tiger and I golfed with my in-laws for Father's Day? Yeah. Well, apparently, I was able to convince my mother-in-law to try Sitka Salmon Shares. Oh, okay. Um, so she, she ended up getting the premium share, um, which I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but, um... But yes, yeah, so I was pretty excited because I have yet, I mean, she's the first person I've convinced to to get it. So, um, and I, I told her to use um, a code and use my name so that she would get $25 off and then I would also get $25. Good deal. Um, but yeah, so I, I, was, I was so excited and I'm gonna ask her like how her fish is when, when she finally gets it, yeah. Yeah, that's but, awesome. 
But yeah, I wanted to tell you about that because, I mean, I know I've talked about the salmon a lot, but, uh, yeah, so someone, someone's actually going to try it. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really cool. I just, I'm not a huge, like, fish person. But actually, one of my coworkers, granted, like, I've just been working from home this whole time, but one of my coworkers, she, I think, also had a Sitka salmon chair. Oh, really? Yeah. Um... Yeah, but I was going to say, I think if you were to have the salmon from Sitka Salmon, you might change your mind. Yeah. Because it's it's just that good. Okay. But they, they sometimes have sales um, for members. So, like, they had a sale back in the spring for, like, salmon burger, and then they had another one for cod, and then they recently had one for halibut. Um... But if you ever wanted to try any, I could pick up one of those for you. I mean, of course, like, I guess it's more like if I was ever over at your house and you were making the salmon, like, I would like to have some, but I don't need you to, like, give me any for myself or anything. Okay. All right. Also, I think that Argus, like, the only fish I've ever seen him eat, well, I guess, okay, so tuna fish, like, from a can, and then also um, fish fry. That's more about the fact that it's deep fried chicken that's not super like fishy flavored. I think he'd be okay with eating something like cod or salmon. Yeah, cod is, no, salmon has more flavor, but the Sitka salmon is um, like, cause that, this is I think what sold my mother-in-law. Cause I told her that I had gotten wild caught sockeye salmon from the grocery store and I cooked it and I'm like this is really fishy and mm. I I didn't like it and so I'm like maybe I just don't like sockeye salmon so I had this in my head I'm like I don't like sockeye salmon but then the salmon shares sent me the sockeye and I'm like well I'm gonna eat it because they sent it um, and it was amazing like it was like it wasn't fishy at all I'm like this is so good um, so, I don't know. I think there, there's definitely a, a big difference between the store-bought and, and their fish. Okay. But, but all of their white fish is really good if, you know, if you don't want the, uh, the salmon. Because my taste of summer share is all white fish. Okay. And then my taste of false share is, I think, almost all salmon. Which, speaking of salmon, <clears throat> I was looking at the the Waterlust leggings again. Oh, yes. Um, because they, so, for anyone so just, watching, so... Yeah, okay, sorry, yeah, I was going to explain, but go ahead. Oh, you can. I mean, I've been talking for a bit. Well, um, so the thing is, there's this, like, company that makes leggings where, like, the leggings are made so that you can, like, go swimming in them, work out in them, just hang out in them, whatever. Yeah, but, they're amazing. Yeah, and their proceeds go towards wildlife conservation, like, specifically ocean wildlife. And um, the leggings are patterns, like, the wildlife you're protecting. So there's, like, a really cool pair of, like, whale shark leggings. And there's some like salmon ones and they have like what other kind there's like a leopard shark maybe I think they have like a spotted seal um, and they they have some other kind of shark they have like a mermaid one which I think is just kind of like generic ocean protection um, yeah they have a whole bunch of I think of a tiger shark tiger shark I think is one of their newer ones um, yeah, so I was looking at their website and I'm like, man, these leggings look so cool. <laughs> um, so I was like really thinking about buying them. And then I was, um, you know, at the bot, like if you keep scrolling on the, the page you're on, so like, so I was on the salmon page. So it had all this information about salmon and it's, it was just like so interesting. And I think it was all sockeye too. Um, but they showed this video of the salmon swimming upstream so they could get to the place where they were born. And like sometimes the stream is so shallow that they're basically like, like jumping, like kind of like hobbling along, like not being able to breathe. 
Yeah. Um, but it was, and it was just like talking about how, you know, they're a keystone species, so they're they're like super important for Alaska. And um, and it's like, oh, like you know, sometimes the uh, the birds come after them. Sometimes the bear, well, the bears obviously come after them. Speaking of but, like bears, though, um, it's like <laughs> my the wildlife stream of the day that I watch. So. Um, Cause like I had started out watching the aquarium and then I started watching the kittens and then I watched puffins for a day. And I watched puffins one day too. Yeah, I liked the puffins. Um, but now I've been watching bears every day, fishing in the river in Alaska, probably eating your salmon. It's kind of gross when you're like watching them eat it because I mean, it's not like that bloody cause I, I don't really know why it's not, but um. <laughs> But I enjoy watching them, so the bears are cute. Yeah, they are cute. Um, but and apparently, so sockeye, it's not always red. They're only red when they get into the fresh water. Okay. So like, I think when they're in the ocean, they're more of like a gray. But anyway, so I was like, I was like watching this video and I'm like, wow, salmon are so cool. And then I was like, maybe, you know, I mean, so I ended up getting or applying for getting a refund for my airline tickets. Oh, good, you did. Yeah, because um, I was listening, one of my podcasts today said that they're required to offer you a refund if they are the one canceling the flight. That's nice. So, so I was like, okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And they have made changes to their website so that it was an option for me to like easily enter in my like, I want a refund thing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're not, we're probably not going to go to Portland or Oregon this fall um, because that was only us being like, oh, well, let's use this money so it doesn't go to waste. Right. Um, but I was thinking, I'm like, well, maybe the next trip we do should be to Alaska and we can go and like go when the salmon is swimming and we can see the bears trying to catch the salmon and like actually see the salmon in person because like they're talking about these researchers that go every year. Um, through the University of Washington, I think. Um, but I, I just, I was just like, this is so cool. So cool. Um, so yeah, that was something that I was looking into the other day. So I'm like, how awesome would this be? And it looks like, um, I mean, Sitka has, because there's a, a website where you can see where the salmon are most active. Um, so Sitka has a good number um, which I didn't realize, Sitka is really close to Juneau. So it's like further south in the state. Right. Um, but it also looks like Anchorage has a, I, I'm thinking Anchorage would be a better place to go to see the salmon. Um, and then there's some area, it's probably out by like Nome, um, but they have a lot of, uh, of the sockeye there too. Yeah. But I thought that'd be so cool because I'm like, I've been really enjoying my Sitka salmon share. And if I get these super cool salmon leggings, like I'm just Miss Salmon over here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I thought that might be a cool thing to do. Go to Alaska. Yeah, I am. Um, but, like, but like specifically to see the salmon. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, like while you're there, you'll probably see the bears too. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see the bears. And I mean, if I could see a polar bear, that would be super cool. But, um, you know, I... I, I'm more interested in the salmon and the grizzly bears. So that's that's the newest development in my uh, travel uh, travel lust. <laughs> All right, I mean that's that's big news. It is, yeah. So um, yeah, I was I was pretty excited about it. The salmon is they're just so beautiful. I mean their faces look weird. Um, they do look weird, yeah. <laughs> but but like they're like they are so red. Yeah. It's just so cool. <laughs> um, you know, I was thinking about traveling things today. Gosh, they keep attacking this guy. I think he's like the only one who's in range right now. They're just kind of okay. making mad because he's killing everything and taking all the experience. He is. I mean, at least he's not getting hurt though. Yeah. Like all of yep. them are attacking him. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about traveling things earlier, because I'm just like, when are we going to be able to travel again? Like, who knows? Things are so weird right now. Oh, but, though I will say, my uh, my Money Podcast, so they had, 
So that's where I heard about how airlines are required to give you a refund. Um, but so they had this guest speaker on who I think he's like from Scott Flights or, you know, something like that. Um, but he said that because he was talking about travel deals and he's he said that he's not worried about traveling because air like the airplane itself isn't very conducive for passing on the virus. But like for me, I'm not concerned about the airplane. I'm more concerned about the airport. That, but also it's like the travel restrictions right now. Cause like, right. I know Europe is like planning to, if they haven't already, to ban people from the US coming into Europe. I, I heard that Greece is not banning them because I think Greece relies more on the tourism dollars. Um, but the podcast, the guy on the podcast said that right now the deals to Japan are incredible. Like he said he, he saw a round trip flight for like $550. That's crazy. I, of course, I would still like to go to Japan. Um, I don't think it's in the cards for a yeah, while. Yeah, until, until a vaccine, probably. Probably, yeah. And then, like, by the time that happens, that's probably when the Olympics will be starting back up. And then oh, yeah. it's going to be crowded, so. Um, well, you might still be able to go. Maybe they'll get the vaccine sooner yeah well see you tiger today he was looking at um outside online it's a like an online outdoorsy kind of website it used to be a um a magazine i think um but yeah so now it's all online and he's he said he was looking at an article that was about um is about travel destinations in new england so he was looking at that because we're like, well, we could drive there. Right. Yeah. I was thinking about that too, because at this point, like, so right now, of course, Japan is still like high up on my list, but also going to England because we were going to go to England this next winter to go watch a soccer game, but you know, they don't have people in their stands right now. Everson yeah. played again today, by the way. That's why I'm wearing my jersey, my other one. Oh. I nice. Just, I got a third one too, but um, yeah, they won, so that was cool. I mean, it was while I was working, so again, I couldn't really watch it, but it was on the TV. I just didn't see it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I feel like at this point, going to England is a bigger priority because, I mean, I've been promising Argus for ages that we would go there. Um, so yeah. To specifically to watch soccer, and then also. Um, because the thing is, Everton is going to get a new stadium. It's like, while it would be cool to go watch a soccer game at the new stadium, we don't want to miss out on the old stadium. So they're supposed to get a new stadium in the next like couple of years. So the time's ticking on that. So I think that's why we got to go to England before Japan at this point. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, see, I have like a huge list. I, I have an ongoing list. It's called Places to Go. Yeah. I have a and similar it's, list. It's actually on my my work uh, timesheet spreadsheet I made because a lot of times when I'm thinking about travel, it's when I'm at work. So, um, so it makes it easy for me to update. But I haven't put Alaska on it yet. I will. Um, but I, I did put Oregon on it, and I put um, I put Slovenia and Montenegro and stuff. Um, but yeah, I. I, I'm excited about going to Alaska one of these days. Who knows when? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably um, New England is definitely more in the cards right now. Yeah. So I wanted to tell you something else because what? I was working, I was cooking in, well, no. See so Tiger was making scrambled eggs in the cast iron and it was like all sticking. And I'm like, darn it, I wish I knew how to do this better. So then I was telling him, I'm like, I wish that there was like a like a, a summer camp for adults to practice their cooking. Okay. Um, so then he's like, well, he's like, does that exist? I'm like, I don't know. So I looked into it. They do exist. Okay. Um, not, not like cast iron specific. Yeah. Um, 
but so I found like a handful of classes um, at the Culinary Institute of America. So it's like kind of out, I mean, they have multiple locations. So they have one like out by Albany, they have one in Montana and they have one in LA and I think somewhere else too. Um, but the one I would go to is the one near Albany cause you know, I could drive there. Yeah. Um, but they have like two to three to five day boot camps. Um, and so like with your tuition, you get a, like a chef coat and you get a hat and um, they, they do recommend you buy one of their little ni knife sets. But if you don't buy a knife set, like they have all the supplies you would need there anyways, but it's just so you have your own personal stock. Um, yeah, they, so they have a two day fish and or seafood intensive. And so I was really tempted by that but they also do seafood that I don't really care for, like shrimp and scallops and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe I wouldn't want to do that one. Um, but they have like a three day kind of general cooking. Um, they also had a three day like Iron Chef style, which I guess they, um, they do, like they play more with textures and like the acid in a dish and like how to kind of balance everything. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought that that sounded interesting too. And then like the longer ones I wouldn't do just because it gets so much more expensive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I'm like, these sound cool. I'm like, and you know, since I can't travel, maybe I'll do one of these someday. But I also, I, I wouldn't want to do this until after coronavirus. Right. But I thought that that could be a fun thing to do. Yeah, I think that sounds really cool. I think, um... I think because I, I mean I like I like to cook, but it's just I mean when I don't have enough time, I don't like it as much. But yeah. um, I, I think I would get a lot from it, and I think that you know my cooking game would really amp up. I think for me at this point, I would rather go to like a yoga retreat than a cooking one. Mhm. Mm but um, so I mean like. I do like cooking, like you said, but like, as long as I have time for it. But at this point, I feel like I only cook really like once, maybe twice a week, and that's it. So I feel like it's not necessary for me to do a cooking class. Okay. Yeah, but... I just get really excited about food, so... <laughs> Especially if it, I make good food. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that was, that was something else that I, like, oh, she's low on health. I know, I'm concerned. I think she'll be, I think she's okay, though, because at this point, I don't think anyone can hit her. Mm-hmm. So, I think she's all right. Uh, except for this guy, that's got, like, a super, um, magic wand. Who? Colm? No, this the guy that just cast that spell on him. He's got like a super long range. Oh. Wow. I know. They've got some wow. Um they've got some strong magicians. Okay. Oh, let's see. I've gotta rework things a little bit. But I don't know how I want to, so it's just gonna be like a hot mess and that's fine. Just so long as you don't let anyone die. I will try not to. No guarantees. Yeah, we'll do our best. Um, I started looking into things for a virtual baby shower for oh, our yeah? sister. That's mm -hmm. good. What did you find? Um, well, there's a couple different websites where you can kind of, or well, so like there's one website where you can build a virtual invitation and like they're cute little invitations. Um, but you have to pay per invitation. And I'm like, well, I don't know how many people she wants to have. Also, I don't know when she wants to have it. Oh, I didn't know that Argus. Sorry, we only have to survive in this um, battle. Okay. All right, that's um, a good idea. Maybe, I don't know. Sorry, go ahead. 
So yes, there's one website where you pay like per invitation, but like I said, I don't know how many people like she's thinking about inviting. Um, so if she's inviting a lot of people, it's like I don't I don't want to pay per uh, you know per invitation. Right. Oh, and Argus says it's good experience though to kill all that you can. I know. And the boss, the boss has a promotion item that he'll drop. Mm, we want that. Um. So yeah. So and then there's this other website where apparently you do like everything through that website, and it has unlimited invitations. But the thing is, you have to pay to be part of it. Like I want to say, it's like eighty dollars to have access to everything. But then it's like you're doing everything through that. And then, yeah. you know, it's like cheaper than if you were to rent out a space. Right. Um, I mean, unless you're doing like a park, because I think those are free. But, um, but yeah, so, so I looked into that and I looked into like potential games. Cause like, if you're having everybody on a video call, like you're not gonna just drill her with questions and be like, what's its name or you know all of that yeah um so i was, I was trying to come up with a couple of games one so as a suggestion i saw some people are like oh you can play like a little bit of a lullaby and whoever can guess the or maybe not lullaby but just like kids music and who can guess the the name of it first you know wins or gets a point or whatever but then i thought what might be better is um, do it more geeks who drink style and every song that has baby in the lyrics You have to name the artist and the song and then you're not just listening to tons of baby music I think that sounds better. Also though, um, you better include Justin Bieber's um, baby. Oh, I know baby. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, and then Britney Spears hit me baby one more time. Yep um, I, I would definitely probably do a search because yeah. I'm not great at music, so um, I'm sure there are many songs with the word baby in it. Uh, but yeah, so I thought that that could be fun. Um, I wrote notes. Oh, there's, they, they also said like you could do a guess the number. So like if you have a jar of candy, you know, um, the only thing is we'd have to make sure that we get a type of candy that our sister can eat because, you know, if we were to get a candy that she's averse to, like, what's the point? Yeah. Because she would be the one eating it. But then it's like, if she doesn't want the candy, then I don't want to play that game. Yeah. Or you could fill it with something else, I guess. Um, and then another idea that was thrown out was that, um, that everyone coming could send a picture of themselves as a baby and then you have to guess who the babies are. I Who's like that baby? That. But yeah. the thing is that would, I feel like that would only work if the group was small enough. Yeah. And, and if people knew each other. Right. So that one I'm not sure if it'll work. And then something that I thought would also be good that I saw as an idea, like I'd come up with this because I'm not overly creative. Um, but they said that you could have everybody send tips ahead of time and then you could kind of present something, you know, whether it be like maybe just the quotes somehow showing in the background or compile it all into some kind of booklet to send to her or something. Yeah. Um, but I thought that, that could be a good idea. And then some people are like, oh, and you should have a theme because themes make things fun. Um, and then they, they said that even though everyone can't be like eating the same food because, you know, we're all yeah. distant, they said that you could send everybody like a mocktail recipe. Okay. So that everybody could make the mocktail ahead of time and then everyone could drink it together. Okay. Which I was, I, I was on board with that, but then I was like trying to Google mocktail recipes and some of them were just so complex. And I'm like, nobody has these ingredients in their pantry. <laughs> yeah. So I would I would want it to be easy enough that people can make. Oh, actually, speaking of, you know, what you've got in your pantry, um, I tried out the Greek salad dressing recipe that you gave me. Oh, what'd you think? So I think um, the piece of garlic, like the clove of garlic I used, I think maybe it was like a really big clove or something, because I think it's a little bit too garlicky. 
But okay. um, other than that, though, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. I actually made some today as well because I had run out. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's a good recipe, and it's easy. So yeah. the only thing is, like, I have a like a little salad dressing container, and it has like a little kind of like a cap that you can just kind of pour. So I'd like to use that, but I was doubling the recipe, and it didn't fit. I see. So I had to put it in just a mason jar. She, oh, is he paralyzed? Who? Archer. No, Archer had already moved. Like they already oh. did their action and the dancer lets you do it, you know, do more. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then they said that you should send party favors to everyone in, the, in attendance. They said you could send gift cards, you could send like whatever random, I thought gift cards sounded good. You could give everyone like a $5 Starbucks gift card or something. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't I don't usually get Starbucks, but if someone gave me a $5 gift card, I would sure go over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. And they're everywhere, so... Although, I, I mean, because I, I, have... I had also considered like Panera or something. I have like a Dunkin' Donuts gift card and I have a Tim Hortons gift card and I haven't used either of them yet, but um, I do have them and I always carry them with me just in case, you never know. See, but I would also, like, I like I have some gift cards to restaurants that, um, that we got before Corona. Yeah. Like I feel weird using, I would feel weird using one because you know, restaurants need more support right now, and the last thing they want to do is make food for free for a gift card. Yeah. But, yeah, so I haven't decided about that. But if you come up with any ideas for the shower, let me know, because I was going to talk to Mom about it. Okay, yeah, I don't currently have any ideas. And talk to our sister, because... Yeah. Because I, I we googled, like, when... She wants. Yeah. Well, because I googled, like, when people usually have them, and they say, like, four to six weeks before the due date. But then other people are like, well, you know, I I don't want to be, like, I want to have energy for it. Like, I don't want to be, like, all groggy and whatever. So right. some people like to have them earlier, like, more at six months. Um, so, yeah, so I was going to ask her and be like, hey, when, when would you want one of these? Yeah. But, but yeah, so we'll see, see how that goes. Are you doing anything interesting for the fourth? Well, so I'm, cause so mom and dad are having our aunt and uncle visit, right? And our brother too. Yeah. Cause I went to talk with them cause I haven't called in like weeks. Um, but so I meant to talk to them and just ask and like, Cause the thing is like Argus is thinking he's gonna go visit his friend like across the state so I think I'm just gonna be alone for the 4th of July um, okay and honestly I still have more of those jars to clean because like that's all I did this past weekend was just clean jars from like the really dirty jars that I bought online that like I'm very excited about them but they are very dirty um, so like the thing is I have to soak them in white vinegar some like yeah. I prefer to do it overnight, but the ones that are in the container now have been soaking for like two or three days because I just haven't had the time to like you know take them out and like scrub off the rust. Um, so it's like a whole process. <laughs> so I told Argus my goal for the weekend is just to clean all the jars that they're off the counter, and um, I want to play some my time at Porsche because I didn't play at all this past week because I had no free time. Um, well. We um, we may end up doing a fire at some point. Okay. Would you be interested in coming over for it? Of course. I even have s'mores supplies. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, because maybe we'll do that, and I'll let you know when we're thinking about doing it. And then I could try my little pie iron that I got. Do you have a plan for what you want to put in the pie iron? No. <laughs> okay. Um, but 
I will, I mean, at the very, like, minimum, I could make grilled cheese. Because I think grilled cheese would work pretty well. Yeah. Um, I could also do, like, a toasted peanut butter sandwich. I think... Because I think... I think I, I would also... Or, or peanut butter marshmallow, because I could cut up a marshmallow. That's what I was going to suggest, because I always really enjoyed peanut butter marshmallow sandwiches. Or peanut butter banana. Yeah, that'd be good, too. So, um... So, yeah, maybe we'll do that one of these weekend days. I will be right back. Okay. fun to fill up my water. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think a fire would be good. Yeah. It seems 4th of, seems 4th of July E. Yeah, I totally be up for a fire. You know what? Me and Argus have been saying for like the last two years that we should watch, um, The Sandlot and also Independence Day on the 4th of July. But I guess that's is not gonna- Sandlot, Is Sandlot the 4th of July? No, but it's like a very summer movie. Okay. So, um, yeah, we've been saying we should watch it for the 4th, and I guess we're not going to watch it for the 4th because he's going to be gone, but we can always watch it, like, after the fact. Right. But. Um, I was going to say something. But I for Oh, I had told C. Tiger, because I'm like, what do you want to do for the 4th? And he's like, I don't know. Um, and I said, would we want to do, like, hot dogs or hamburgers or something? And he said, if we did either of those, he would rather do burgers. But, um, cause I, I was considering picking up some burgers at the farmer's market so that um, we could do burgers on the fourth. Mm -hmm. And maybe like make baked, be baked beans or something. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Yeah, I can't really think of what else is like 4th of July food besides hot dogs, burgers, and baked beans. Watermelon? Watermelon is very 4th of July. Um, or straw, I mean, we, I feel like we always had strawberry stuff. Well, I feel like that's just because we'd always have extra from picking strawberries. Strawberry picking? Yeah. yeah. I was thinking, I still have some that I haven't cleaned because I was saving them for eating. But I'm thinking that maybe I should clean them and put them in with the ones that I, I have in the sugar syrup kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, just so that they don't go bad. I mean, because they're, they're starting to get mushier. How's your progress on your strawberries? Good. Well, so I froze a lot of them. Um, so now at this point, like, I have maybe like a quarter of a quart left just for eating. And then the okay. rest of them I either froze or I still froze but like mixed it with sugar. So... Um, but I think I will make some shortcake and I'll do strawberry shortcake for the fourth. That sounds good. Yeah, I I don't know what, I don't know if we'll do dessert. We've been eating a lot of dessert. Lots of shortcake. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I told you, um, I ate some of my frozen cream puffs. Oh, you did tell me. I really like, they tasted just like the ones that are frozen like from the store and they were really good. I might, yeah. like, I think on the first day of eating cream puffs, like, you want to eat them fresh. But I think after that, you just freeze them and eat them frozen, because, like, even with yeah. the frozen ones, you're supposed to let them thaw, but, um, I've never done that. Yeah. 
Oh, this is the uh, that guy who thinks yeah, I killed the his brother. brother. Well, I speaking of cream puffs and pastries. So I heard through Facebook, or I, I read through Facebook. Oh, Argus says talk to him with Irica. Oh yeah, I was actually just gonna plan to kill him. So good thing you said that, Argus. <laughs> um. So you know the bakery in Jamestown that does the pink stripe cookies? Yeah. So apparently, so I saw he had this Facebook post that was reposted by one of my friends. And she's like, well, I guess I'm gonna, you know, not eat pink stripe cookies ever again. Because, so the owner, so he's like, he was all like bashing the protesters because he's like, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like, don't you want to wait until phase four to do your protests? Mm -hmm. And then, and then he's like, and so people have been out of work for so long. He's like, this, this pandemic is fake basically. And he's like, I'm, when I open my business up again, it'll be a mask free zone. And so I'm like, this guy's an idiot. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, that yep, stinks. no more, no more pink stripe cookies for me or baklava. I love those cookies, but like you can get good baklava anywhere. I yeah. guess I should say, yeah, any Greek restaurant. Um, yeah, they know how to make it. Yeah, but that really stinks. Cause yeah, I really like those pink stripe cookies. Yeah, I do too. But I mean, there's other good cookies out there. Yeah, for sure. No, and then what made me mad is that some people in the comments were like, yeah, you're right, man. I just, like, like... You guys are stupid, Trump I supporters. I just don't understand people at all. Yeah, me um, neither. So... Yeah. So, yeah, so that was something else I saw today, and I'm like, well, you know, darn people who are, you know, ignorant and... Whatever. Yeah. I just gotta ruin it for everyone. Mm-hmm. It's not even like... I don't know. I feel like they're ruining... I don't know. Because, like, even if, like, you know, to make your, like, business a mask-free zone, like, it's just stupid unless there's a vaccine. You know, you just keep... Yeah. Do every single precaution you can. Like, you don't know what people's situations are. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so, a weird time. I feel like... It is. It there's really so is. There's so many people that, like... I mean, it seems like there's a lot of people that are, like, on the cautious side and, like, you know, human rights side, and that's all good. And then there's, like, the total opposite. I'm like, how... How can people like that even exist? I know. Um... But, yeah. Yeah, it's not good. No. Not good. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. You know, 2020 is crazy. Who knows what July will bring. Yeah. It's been a weird year. It is. You know, I was thinking, I'm almost... I think we're almost at the point where... I've almost worked as long from home as from the office this year. Really? Yeah, well, because we started working from home like mid March. So I was like, Oh, you're talking, you're talking like 2020. Yeah, for the calendar year. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking like your whole time with the DOT. I'm like, oh. no? No. I was thinking though, it will be really weird when I get to the point that I've worked for the same amount of time at the DOT compared to my last job. That's that's what I thought you were going to say. I'm like, really? No, no. <laughs> how, how long were you at that one? I was there for three years and one month. Okay, I was at my last job for three years and two months. Okay. And I've been at the DOT for, it's what, July? I thought I started in I'm, August. I did. No, I said, what is it, July? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's July. So it's I've, almost been a I've year. Been, it's, well, it's been almost 11 months. That's almost a year. Almost a year. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. 
I'm fine. Um, yeah, I mean, especially since, um, you know, so much of it's been from home. Yeah. So, three and a half months of it were from home? Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That is a lot. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be in the DOT. Yeah. Makes me think that maybe I should have stayed in Ohio, but <laughs> I've, I've come a long way since then. Yeah. I think I just had to see what else was out there before deciding, you know, that the DOT is where it's at. Yeah. And plus, you're, you're at a different point in your life where, like, you know, before you were just all alone out there. Right. Whereas, like, now, even if you were back in Ohio, like, at least you'd have your husband, you'd have your dog, like... It would be a different situation. Yeah. Did you see the pictures I posted of Ripley? No, I didn't. On Instagram? No. Oh, you should look. Um, I, I like because, I never look at because I don't get notifications for it. Well, you should have gotten some notifications because um, people started following us. Well, because I I took down or I, like I told my phone I don't want notifications. Oh. Because it was like okay. too much. And so now I don't get any notifications and I just feel so out of the loop. Yeah, so um, so I had posted a couple pictures because we had bought her another bow semi-recently. Aww. And with the bow, they had a little note card that said like, oh, like tag us on Instagram. We love hearing from you. So I was like, maybe I will. So, um, so it was really hard to get a picture though because you know, she has so much hair. And like the bow, a lot of times you don't get the bow and her face in the same shot. Right. Um, so CU Tiger was helping me. He's like, oh, like I'll kind of distract her so that you can get a picture. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Um, and I think it actually worked pretty well. Um, and I mean, you just see that her profile. So you see her nice long snout. Um, but yeah, she she's a cutie. And so the people who make her bow tie, um, they're called Bowie ties. Okay. Uh, because their dog's name is Bowie, so they were originally Bowie ties for him. But, uh, yeah, so they said, like, oh, she's so sweet. Love her. And then someone else started following us, too, because they're like, oh, what a pretty Tali. Oh, man, gosh. They're going to think that we only post pictures of I know. Ripley. It's like, that's... I think, have we ever posted a picture of her before? No. <laughs> This was our first one. So I was like, well, we should definitely post more pictures of us because we haven't, we've been slacking on that. We have. Cause I even had said like, oh yeah, I'll post pictures of our strawberries and stuff. And then I never did. I've been so lazy with them. But you posted, you posted pictures of strawberries last year though. So I don't think we need another one. <laughs> okay. But we should have taken a picture when we were canning. We should have. Uh, we did do one for the Black Lives Matter, so we were in that picture. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we should we should really up up our game. We should. But, but yeah, so that was my thought too. I'm like, oh, everyone's gonna think we're just one of those dog Instagrams. Which is fine. It is fine, and she's cute enough to have her own Instagram. But I just am too lazy to do that. Yeah. But I thought maybe I'll take some more pictures of her or some pictures of me and her. But yeah. if you come over the, for the fire, we could get a picture. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> well, I already told uh, Cookie, but I will tell our viewers. See, so Tiger and I recently started watching Korra season two. Because we had watched season one like ages ago, and Sea Tiger wasn't a huge fan. Um, and I'm like, season three is the best, but we gotta get through one and two first. So, yeah, so we started watching season one. We're not very far, we're like two or three episodes in. But, um, but yeah, so it, I, you know, it's, it's good for me because I've only seen the whole series once, so it's helping me become more familiar with it. Yeah, I really want to, as you know, I'm like, 
really in the mood to watch Korra, but I'm still watching Avatar The Last Airbender because yeah. I, right now it's like, I'll just put it on if I'm doing something because then I can like tune into the parts that I, um, like I really want to watch and stuff and then just let it kind of run because I've seen it so many times. But I really want to watch Korra. I'm like so in the mood for it, which is kind of weird, but like, I don't know. I just want to watch it. But I am actually still, I'm still reading my book, uh, The Rise of Kiyoshi, which I'm enjoying. Um, so it's all about Avatar right now. Yeah. Um, yeah, because the thing is, like, I, like, there's some characters I like better than others, um, in Korra, but, um, Sea Tiger, like, hates all of them, so. Who, who is your favorite character? I'm just curious. Oh, my favorite character. Um, might be a weird pick, but... I like Janora. Okay. I think that's her name. The yeah. oldest girl. Yeah. So I like her too, um, but, um, you know, I actually think my favorite character is Varric. Who's that? He's the, like, um, Southern Water Tribe, like, entrepreneur who, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it, I don't remember which season it is, but I think he does something that, like, is very much the opposite of what Korra is trying to do, and he's like sabotaging it, like kind of accidentally, maybe. I think that it might happens. be season two, but because um, he was he was just introduced. Okay, but I really like him. I think he's my favorite. I will say though, actually, something that's really interesting is the prince of Ba Sing Se. Do you remember his name? Because I don't. But I don't some... even remember him. You don't remember him at all? It's been a long time. Okay. I think I was in Australia when I watched it. Oh, wow, okay. Um, well, so there's the Prince of Ba Sing Se, and he's like kind of useless, at least for like a long time. But um, for some reason, whenever I'm reading books, like there's so many characters where that's the guy who I picture. I picture the Prince of Ba Sing Se. Somehow it just seems like it's the perfect fit. Um, huh. I kind of like the prince, but, um, at the beginning he's annoying, but I kind of like him. Okay. Yeah. I like, um, I don't remember what his name is, but the main villain in season three. Oh, yeah, the airbender guy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember his name. I don't, I don't remember his name, but, yeah, no, it's I mean, No, Zaheer. Zaheer. Yeah. Because the thing is, like... Season three, I think, like, the villains are just so good. I feel like season three in general is really good, and, like, I don't want to say it's, like, as... I mean, I don't know, maybe it is. I'd have to watch it again, but I feel like, to me, it's as good as Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, just that mm -hmm. season as a whole. But honestly, like, I like the idea of season one, like, the struggle that's happening, because it's, like, benders versus non-benders, like... I think it's right. really, I, I think they bring up like really good um, political points and stuff. Um, yeah. The second yeah. season, I mean, I feel like it has to happen, but I I don't care about the second season. I know, and I, I tell Sea Tiger, I'm like, we just got to get through it. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it because, but, but I mean, you two... see the origin of the Avatar. Right. I think, I think that's the best episode in all of Korra. Oh, you think? I think so. Maybe. I, it, I don't it could know. be. It could be. I really like, because I think it's a two-parter, maybe. Pro um, there, it looked like there were a lot of two-parters in season yeah, two. Yeah, but to me, like, it's a really good episode, double episode, whatever. I, it's really good. So, to me, like, season two is worth it just to see that. But. Yeah. The, the other day we were watching Avatar, the, uh, you know, the original. Yeah. And we were watching... Are you still picking, like, it, random episodes? Yeah. I think it's called The Fire Lord in the Avatar. Oh, I the love Avatar that one. The Avatar and The Fire Lord. That's yeah. the one with Ryu and Roku story. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah. I think that one might be my favorite Avatar episode. That's what I think for myself also. Um, and I will say... Because I, I just remember the first time I watched it at the end, I'm like, what? I know. And I feel like 
Well, actually, okay, so I really like that one, but I also like the Puppet Master a lot, because I feel like- I like that one too. That's the first episode where I was just like, whoa, Avatar, this is like pretty dark, but like really cool. Yeah. Um, so I really, really like that one too, but I think the Avatar and the Fire Lord is, if it's not my favorite, it's like one of my favorites. Yeah, definitely not the Kyoshi Island one. And the thing is, like, the episode is not even that bad. It's just because it was always a rerun. Whenever I watch it, I'm like, I know. Oh, Kyoshi Island. Or the Warriors yeah. of Kyoshi, whatever the episode Yeah, there are also some other bad ones, like the, not the Serpent's Pass, the, um, where they go in that canyon. I've, I haven't seen it that many oh, times. Oh, gosh. I hate that one. Yeah, that I one's horrible. Nightmares and Daydreams is horrible. Um, and so is... Oh, the fortune teller has some funny parts. So yeah, it's not I don't as care bad. the fortune teller. There was one. Gosh. Oh, um, it's the first episode of season two. Yeah, I. That's one of my least favorites. It's like they're trying to trigger the Avatar state. Like Aang is talking with some like Earth oh. Kingdom general or something, and I really don't care for that one. I think it's like a waste of time. But, yeah, I don't like that one either. So I put that in my bottom five. I don't really know where it is, but like, I don't like that one. I think the blue spirit's pretty good too. Yeah, I also like, um, I mean, so the thing is when Avatar was first released, um, you know, live on Nickelodeon, it was only the first 12 episodes and then they had to get like their contract renewed or whatever to keep going with it. And so episode 12 is the storm which is when you find out like why Aang ran away, why he was in the iceberg, and like, you also, I think, learn about Zuko's past a bit. Yeah, that's when you learn that like, okay. his, his father during the duel that scarred him. Um, so I remember thinking like at the time, like this is a really good episode. Yeah. What a great and, show. And it is. Yeah, <laughs> it is a good show. But, because I, I, I will say the thing with Korra that I think is nice, is that since the seasons are shorter, you don't have as many of those fluff filler episodes. Right. Which is, you know, it's good. Something's always happening. Right. Um, well, I told you the other day that Steve Tiger and I had been watching Cheers, but as it's July, Cheers is it's over on now. Netflix. <laughs> so we didn't even get through, we got through most of season one. Okay. Well, that's but exciting. we did not. Yeah, but we did not finish it. Um, yeah, I was enjoying it. So if ever it's on Netflix again, you might want to check it out. Okay, yeah. And after um, looking into Alaska and salmon and stuff, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should watch Togo this weekend. Oh, that's I think a good it's idea. Called Togo. Yeah. The, the one on Disney Plus. Yeah. Um, because I've been meaning to watch it and then I keep forgetting about it. Yeah. So I think that might be good. Oh, I was gonna talk about what movie did we watch this week? I'll tell you what movie week. we watched. Oh, uh, was... let me let me try and think. Okay. <laughs> I think I wrote it down. Here, wait, give me a sec. I know what we watched. Um, though I don't see it on the list, but I can think of what it is and why don't I see. There it is. Um, we watched Just Go With It. Okay. And that has, um, it's an Adam Sandler movie with Jennifer Aniston in it. And so is, um, shoot. She's in Moulin Rouge. Mm, what's her name? I can't think of her name. But she's like the main girl in Moulin Rouge. Um, okay. Yeah, she's in it too. Not for as long. But um, yeah, we're watching that because I had remembered seeing it when it was pretty new. Like, I think I might have red boxed it. Yeah. Um, and I, re I remember thinking that I thought it was good. Um, and so that was like my impression of it. I'm like, it was good. Um, and Sneak Tiger had never seen it. And I was like, well, let's let's watch it because you've never seen it. Um, and so there, and I will confirm that it is good. Um, because like, because I had also thought the same thing about Forgetting Sarah Marshall and then we watched it together and we're like this is so depressing like I don't know it wasn't it wasn't good 
Um, okay, I, so just I go with it. I like forgetting Sarah Marshall. I wouldn't say it's not good. Well, I don't know if I would say it's not good, but it's just, I don't know. It's not as much of a feel good movie. No, not like, quite. Like he's depressed for a lot of it. He is, yeah. Um, yeah, so just go with it. It's like more lighthearted. Um, they, they also go to Hawaii. But I, I would say like the worst part of Just Go With It, like the only part that I'm like, I don't like this, are the kid actors. Because mm. like the girl is annoying, the boy is okay, but um, you know, that's, uh, that's my complaint about the movie. But that was watched and I enjoyed it. Um, so what did you watch? Well, so it was my pick this week. And um, so during the last movie, yeah, the last movie fight that I um, partook in with my friends. One of the questions was, what is the, I think the question was, what was the greatest love story? And so someone had said Marriage Story, which is a Netflix original. And hmm. um, so I had seen that it was on Netflix and I, I had always wondered, is this movie any good? And so, um, so I decided that we should watch that. And it's, I mean, like yours, it's not really, or I mean, I guess, like forgetting Sarah Marshall? Yeah, like it's not exactly a feel good movie. It's like, so it's this couple that like, you know, is in love, but like their marriage isn't working out kind of thing. And so um, they're like getting a divorce, but the husband is kind of like, it catches him off guard because he just did, I think really it's just the issue is communication, you know, like not that I'm like a relationship expert or anything, but Clearly, like, she had all these wants and desires and, like, wasn't vocal enough about, like, getting it to happen. So, um, yeah, so they're getting this divorce and the husband, like, totally doesn't see it coming. Um, mm. but, yeah. But I did enjoy it. It was actually longer than I expected. Probably longer than it needed to be. I think, in general, I just want all movies to be shorter than they are. I do, too. <laughs> But um, I am glad I watched it, though. It is a good love story. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what we'll watch, cause or, cause we're actually thinking, cause I kind of would be up for watching some kind of rom com for tomorrow for our anniversary. But Steve said he was still interested in doing trivia, like we've been doing trivia on Thursday nights with, um, with a couple of our friends. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I, I always like watching rom-coms for our anniversary and stuff. You know, I haven't been doing that much cardio lately. Yeah. Um, but yesterday I decided that I, I should. <laughs> okay. So yesterday, um, Instead of doing a walk with Ripley in the morning, we ran. We, well, we ran with a couple like walking spout, bouts, not spouts. We're not teapots. Um, but yeah, so we, we walked and ran for like 20 minutes. Um, and then after work, I did a, a boxing hit workout. I've done it before with you the one mm -hmm. time. Um, yeah, I did one of those and like, I am just sore. Like my forearms are sore, which is strange. Yeah. Um, and I mean, but I'm, I wouldn't say I'm like super sore because it's like, I can still move and do like normal things. No problem. It's just like only when I do certain things that I'm like, that still kind of hurts. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, my pulse got up super high. My Fitbit said it was like, 160s or so is the highest. Okay. Which like it never gets up that high anymore. Um, so I was like, man, I guess I should uh, do a little more cardio. So I was thinking that maybe I'll do that workout once a week. Yeah. And then maybe like run with Ripley some some mornings too. Yeah, you know, I was thinking more over this past week about um, 
our themed birthday party. I'm assuming that like you want to be involved with it. Cause I, I shouldn't say it's our birthday party. Maybe yeah. It's mine. No, I want to do it. We can make a cake. Yeah, we can make a cake. Um, well, actually, or, I you know something. Ice I don't cream. know though. Cause so good place theme though. So we could we could get frozen yogurt or ice cream. Well, so yeah, cause I was actually looking into frozen yogurt because. So like in the city, it seems like most frozen yogurt places don't exist anymore. They're like out of business. Okay. So there's one like in the village that's like kind of near you, but like not really. Yeah. It's right next to um, the Thai place that I'm going to tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a yogurt place there, but then I was like, so I guess we really have to decide though, is this a... I isn't ice cream close enough though? Well, so that's what I was thinking because like, so the thing is with frozen yogurt is, it's when they're in the bad place that it's frozen yogurt, right? So like, don't we want our birthday party to be like the actual good place? What do they have in the good place though? I don't remember. I don't even know that they talk about it. They must. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen season four. I mean, I don't remember them really talking about food. I um, think they did. I mean, I'm sure they do. I just don't remember. Um, so yeah, but you know, I actually saw it. So there's a place that used to be a frozen yogurt place. That's like next to that um, make your own custom pizza place. You know, that's pretty close to your there's, house. They're not there anymore. I know the frozen they're yogurt of... place isn't there, but there's a different place. It's called like the Sweet Oh Lake yeah. Or something. It's like a restaurant where everything's a dessert and it actually looks super amazing. But here's the downside is they're only doing takeout right now, which is like good, but it's also bad because I've seen in their pictures, it's they do styrofoam and I'm very much oh. against that. So, um, so I'm kind Maybe of- we should just go, go out for ice cream. Yeah, I was thinking we could go out for ice cream or, gosh, I had another option. Well, cause there's like a place um, that they do like a custard, soft serve kind of ice cream. Okay. Um, but the thing that's interesting with them is they have like a lot of things that like, a lot of toppings that like they have pre like made things. Kind of like a sundae, I, I guess it's really just sundaes. But I thought that could be an option, but I'm totally cool just getting regular ice cream. Okay. Oh, I wanted to tell you, cause Ripley just came in here and lived laid down to me. Earlier today, she gave me a big scare. Why? Because, so we were playing outside during lunch and I thought like, oh yeah, no problem. Like we do this a lot. So I was throwing the tennis ball for her and she was running after it um, and everything was going all good. And then at one point she like goes running to chase after it and then she stops and then she was holding her paw up weird. And I'm like- I thought she broke it or something. Well, she um, she stepped on a thorn. Oh. And so I I went over to her, and I saw that you know that's what happened. And it was just like like if this is her paw and like this is the pad part of her paw, it was just like stuck right in there. Oh. And I'm like, I'm like I don't know how deep this is. Yeah. Poor puppy. So I ended up carrying her inside because I didn't want her to hurt herself. Um, though I think that might have done more harm than good. She, I didn't get a good grip on her, and I heard her make kind of like a weird choking sound. Um. Um, but yeah, so I got her inside, and I had her laid down. And I'm like, stay, because I'm like, I'm going to get you some, like, I was going to get her a bandage and a sock to keep the bandage in place. Like, it was going to all work out. Um, and, I, and I called CU Tiger, because I'm like, do you think I should just, like, pull it out? Um, and, and then he recommended I get the, we have this powder that kind of stops blood. Um, it's really for when we clip her nails, but, um, but I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. I'll use that too. So I was gathering all these supplies and then I co go back downstairs and then I see her standing, looking out the window and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so turns out she pulled the thorn out herself. Oh and um, you know, just walked over to the window. But no, I need to put this bandage on you because you're bleeding. Yeah. 
Because I, I, I'm like, I don't know how deep it was. I don't know how much blood there will be. Um, and she, she did have some, but it wasn't a ton. I did use that powder. And I used a little, like, antibacterial ointment. Um, and then I tried putting the bandage and sock on her, and she wasn't having it. She, like, took the sock off immediately. So... I was like, well, I guess the uh, the powder stops the blood flow pretty quick, so hopefully we're all good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and we took her for a walk after work, and I mean, we did the short loop, but she was fine. All right, that's good. So I was like, good, because <laughs> it was scary. It's like, it reminded me of, I don't remember if it was some TV show or what, but like, you know, some person has like, you know, a pen or a, I don't, I can't do this. Yeah, like the stuck in their hand. Yeah, so like I didn't know. And like those thorns are big. They're like this big. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I was kind of scared. Yeah, well, it seems like she's but, doing all right. But yeah, she's doing good. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, as far as the good place birthday party, I was thinking. So originally I had thought like, it'd be cool to like rent an Airbnb because like, mm -hmm. you know, we had said like, oh, we can just go to your house for like playing croquet or like for eating dinner and stuff. Um, but I was like, oh, but it'd be nice to go to like an Airbnb because then you're not just home and it's more like the good place. True. But then I was looking at all these Airbnbs and I was like, you know, just none of these really seem to be fitting the bill. So um, I decided we'll just go to your house. It's also cheaper that way. Yeah. Well, it was like for your bachelorette party. Yeah. Because I was, I looked into a whole bunch of Airbnbs because I'm like, no, we can find one. But all the ones that were available weren't good. And all the ones that were good were expensive. Right. There was so. one that I really liked, but it could only, it's like only designed well, it was designed for like four people, but like where two people are children, because there's like a little kid's bunk bed in one bedroom. But like the place yeah. was pretty cool. Um, so like I told Argus that just me and him could go there sometime. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've kind of like come up with like a little itinerary plan for what we'll do. Sounds good. Yeah, so I hope you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. I don't know if you I want mean, to know got, everything like in advance. There's not even really that many things, if I'm being honest. We got we got a couple months to prepare. Well, but here's the thing. So I want to. Um, there's like rowboats at the park that you and like the flamingo too. Yeah. Um. So I want to go there, but from what I saw from their website last year, is they closed in September 2019. Mm. So I thought we'd have to celebrate our birthday either in August or July, but like July is now. So like, I don't know. We could, we could do August. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay. So my only complaint with August is that, um, Argus's birthday is in August. Well, we'll just do it later in August. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that sounds all really good. And you know, when, so back to, I guess, travel stuff, because when Sea Tiger was looking at all that um, New England stuff, he was seeing a lot of things for Vermont. And I was thinking, oh, I'm supposed to go to Vermont with my sisters. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. But I mean, I'm still interested in going to Vermont. If you still want to go. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I still do want to go. Cat came over here to say hi. Bye, oh, that's Kat. nice of her. She, I mean, I, I think I already told you that she's just been hiding in the bedroom all the time, and it makes me so sad. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to ask you, um, what, what did you do with the basil I gave you? Did you do anything fun with it? Well, yeah. So I just I used it with dinner tonight. Um, so tonight I made fried rice. Okay, we so, have fried rice for dinner today. It leftovers, but okay, yeah. So we, yeah, we did fried rice for dinner, and um, it was good. I think because um, Argus said that like it needed a little bit of like spiciness to it, because um, as it is, like it's literally just soy sauce seasoning it and like the oil. Okay. Um, because like. I did look at a recipe because I've never looked at a recipe for fried rice before, um, but mm -hmm. I did today. 
and it said like, oh, you want to use like this, it wasn't fish oil, it was like some other kind of oil. Was it sesame oil? No, it was like something I didn't have. Well, sesame oil, but then there was also, okay, so I think it was sesame oil and then also like a fish sauce or like some kind of something that I didn't I have. have I actually have fish sauce. I don't hardly ever use it, but I have it. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, CU Tiger made our fried rice. Okay. He made it last weekend, and so um, so we ate it today. I mean, we ate it last weekend, too. Um, yeah, that was one of the meals he picked. But what was interesting, so it's a coconut fried rice recipe. So, um, so it, it uses coconut oil instead of olive oil. And it has flakes of coconut in it as well. Yeah. Um, and a whole bunch of vegetables. But what I think is really weird about the recipe, and the recipe's from uh, our Cookie and Kate cookbook. Um, but what's weird about the recipe is there are no eggs in it. Okay. Um, but our Run Fast, Eat Slow book also has a fried rice recipe, and that one does have eggs. Yeah. So I told him, I'm like, well, maybe next time, like, let's try this one and see, you know, see which we like better. Because I mean, I think this one's pretty good. It's just weird that there's no eggs in it. Yeah, I like having the eggs in fried rice. Yeah, because as it is, it doesn't really have much protein. Oh, what this one did call for was adop uh, edamame. Yeah. Um, and that was when I told him that since we didn't have edamame, that we should use peas instead since peas, I thought, were the closest thing we had to edamame. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we found that over the past few months, we've been spending a lot on groceries. Yeah. Because like, cause I've been buying tons of stuff at the farmer's market, and so we decided that, um, like, starting this month, we're going to try and do... Oh, my god! Like, maybe... Like maybe one meal or like one recipe that kind of uses like features a lot of pantry items like stuff we already have. Whereas the other recipe we make will just be like you know whatever, whatever we want to make. Yeah. But yeah, because at the farmers market I just see so many things I want and then I buy them, <laughs> and it can get expensive. So. Um. So yeah, so we're gonna start doing that. Pantry meals. Hey, I mean, I think that's always a good thing. I think so too. I mean, especially since I'm spending so much on fish, we don't need to spend a ton on all of our other food too. Yeah. And I was thinking that since we are doing the fish that, um, and I mean, we've been eating pretty, like a mix of meat and non-meat meals. Mm -hmm. Um, but maybe we should do, like, one meat meal a week and then a veggie meals for the rest. But I guess that's kind of what we did this week, because we made the salmon burgers, which are so good. Sorry, I'm just having a hard time deciding what I want to do. Oh, that's all right. How you doing, pup? When I went to fill up my water, I saw she was just laying in our room just by herself. Yeah. It's a little sad. Yeah. That's okay. Like, you know, sometimes you just want to lay there by yourself. <sighs> yep. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else interesting going on in my life. Um. Oh, I finished Heartless. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Isn't that and ending I, you disappointing? Know, what? I said, isn't that ending disappointing? Yeah, I mean, I knew that the ending was going to be sad. Yeah. Um, but, you know, because, you know, you know that she becomes the Queen of Hearts. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just sad, though. I'm like, ah, oh, you almost had a good life. <laughs> um, I did tell you that I finished, yeah, that book that yeah. your friend recommended me, The Bell Jar. Not a fan. 
Um, but now I, I don't know if she recommended it. I'll ask. I think if she I did, but again, it's possible because she like told me a lot of different books to read, and so like I wrote them in my phone. But then like when I would look them up later to like you know actually borrow them, there'd be different books with the same title or like a very similar title. I'm like, well, is this the book or is this the one? So. I kind of just guessed. So it's possible that I, um, I just had the wrong book. Yeah. The book that I was reading, um, it, my, uh, my loan expired, so I had to return it. And I was only like 30% through the book. Mm. And it's a long book. There's like 900 pages. So, um, so yeah, I had to return it and there's like, a million people waiting on it, so I think it's gonna be another 10 weeks until I get it back. Yeah. Hopefully I don't forget everything that's been happening. I mean, I don't think I will. It's too much different from everything else I've been reading. Yeah. I feel like, in general, I mean, granted, like, when I listen to audiobooks, I definitely miss part of the story. Um, yeah. But I think that, I, at least for me, like, you know, I'll listen to a book and then it's due at the library, so I return it. Sometimes I don't get it back for, like, weeks to listen to. But um, I feel like I'm never really confused about what's going on, though, just because the stories are different. Yeah. Yeah, I was just surprised that there were that many people waiting on it. But, I mean, I guess it's one of the Oprah book club books, so, yeah, you know, lots of people want to read it. But I like it. It's teaching me about um, some Mexican stuff, the yeah. cartels. Um, you know, I also did some. So uh, not only did I think about um, our the good place party, but also I thought about um, the party that I want to throw for our friends that's turning thirty in November. Mm -hmm. And so, so I'm kind of looking at it as like you know. It's not just for her birthday, but like, you know, we're all going to be turning 30 and like, granted, I know we said like maybe we would all do a group trip or something, but I just thought to kick things off that we could do a nice themed party for her. Um, okay, her so what, some, what are some ideas you've been thinking? Well, so, because you were there, right, when she said that like, or I told her I'd give her like a list of potentials. Okay, here. Yeah, I she, said, she said no Harry Potter. Yeah, she said no Harry Potter, so I was like, okay, we can work with that. Yeah, Big 30. Debra says Big 30. So, um, I have Avatar, like the last Airbender. Um, I can even wear my costume. Yes. I, I'm going to encourage costumes no matter what we do. Because I just think it makes it more fun. And also for the Good Place Party, I want you to be ready with an outfit for like every single character. For every character? Well, like, so I thought, like, you know, just to, like, make things extra fun. It's kind of like well, dress up, you I know? mean, I, I understand doing a costume, but why do I need one for every character? Well, like, so if you're playing croquet, you should wear a dress, like, to Hollywood. Oh. When we're going out in the rowboats, you should wear, like, you know... Nerdy clothes. Nerdy clothes, like Cheaty. Um, yeah, Zephyr, Zephyr says nerdy 30. Yeah. I think, um, well, except for, so the good place I like is, that. The good place birthday party for us is going to be our 29th birthday. It's just because I've got nothing else to do but plan birthday parties. <laughs> um, but, so I was also thinking that, um, so for, just, you're not going to have any surprises. So for Jason's thing, I want to just buy some sparklers, because I know in one episode Michael gives him a sparkler to, like, distract him or something. Um, but then also I would like to throw them and yell Bortles. Um, so like, you know, just like sweats for Jason. And then I don't have an activity for Eleanor, so I don't know. Anyways, so um, for this- Yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. Okay, for our, our friend's birthday party, so I've got Avatar. I have mm -hmm. Pokemon. Okay. So I kind of like think of things that all five of us, high school friends, would know, but I feel like that's actually really difficult. Um, yeah. I have like Disney or Pixar or a specific Disney slash Pixar movie. Um, but okay. we can't do Disney and Pixar. That's just way too much. Um, yeah. I have Ruby. I don't know. Did you watch that one? 
I feel like, I thought you did, but maybe you didn't. Um, cause like Ruby, it's like a, it's actually not, it's a show that our cousin recommended to us. But, um, I have talked with this friend, you know, who's having the birthday party. Okay. Zapper is asking what games came out in 1990. He knows Mario 3 did. That one's great. Mario 3 is great. Greatest of all time, even. Oh, got <laughs> it. Um, yeah, we were, we were 91. I also have but, Mario as a theme. Also pirates, like in general, or like Pirates of the Caribbean, I don't know. Um, I like the Mario one. She also specifically said that she's really into Alice in Wonderland right now. And maybe it's like more like through the looking glass and like more book based, I don't know. But she did say that, so I wrote that down. I, okay, this is actually my favorite idea. Um, one of, us five friends, I don't think knows it, but like a Lunar Chronicles party. I don't know what mm. would be involved, but um, I thought- We could all be one of the characters. I, I know, I thought it'd be a really cool theme and we would have like, I, I mean, of course I think about food right away. And so I was thinking, well, of course we have to have tomatoes and like- um, And lemon cake. And lemon cake. And also like, I was thinking the braided bread, like um, Rapunzel's braids. Um, but I, I would want to come up with like games or something that we could do with that, but that would take more thought. Um, right. I also have ever... like Star Trek or Star Wars. Okay. And I also, my last theme is like countries slash travel. Cause I thought that could be fun, but I don't really know what we would do besides yeah. eat food, so. And, and Zapper says 91 was the SNES launch. Oh yeah, yeah. 91. Great year. And Ogre's here. Hey, you grills. How's it going? Hi, Ogre. It's, uh, How are you doing? Going about the same. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like every week it's just the same on repeat. On repeat. On repeat. Yeah, I feel like they are mostly the same. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Like, I, I feel it's, like it's going been... all right. Yeah, time has been going pretty quickly, I feel, um, in general. Yeah. I feel like that too. How's everything going for you, Ogre? Yeah, it's it's been, you know, yeah, same old, same old. Though, Ogre, you didn't hear me tell you this, but other people have uh, already heard. Because tomorrow's my anniversary, so I'm taking the day off of work, and my husband and I are going golfing. And eating Thai. Though, actually, I usually get one of the Burmese dishes, so I'll probably get Burmese. I was thinking about trying something new this time, though. Crazy, right? That is crazy. I know. I Like, their pumpkin stew is really good, but I, I want to branch out. I mean... Their pad thai is amazing too, but yeah, I wanna get something that I've never gotten before. Yeah. And then we'll probably also get sushi because they make this really good black rice sushi. They're, um, they're, my favorite's their mango roll. So it doesn't actually have any fish in it, but it has mango, sweet potato, and avocado. And then they put some kind of sauce on top that tastes amazing. It's very good, very good. And then we're gonna have more strawberry shortcake because, you know, we've got it. Yeah. And Ogre says, same-o, same-o, good, good, same here. Yep, same old. Still playing Fire Emblem. Yeah. <laughs> Someday we'll finish it. Someday. <laughs> I do think, so my goal right now is that like, I'll play a level on stream and then between streams, I'll play at least one other level. That's a good, that's a good plan. So that um, hopefully we can get through it. And I mean, like I'm enjoying it, but I feel like maybe it's not the most entertaining thing to watch. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fine. Probably less frustrating than sometimes when we're playing like Donkey Kong. Yeah. I was just thinking back to that one. 
level from, I think it was country two. But like, we just could not get past this one part. We just kept dying. Oh, Zebra says turn, turn based menu games. Yeah. What are those? Like this one. Oh. I'm assuming anyways. It's a turn, yeah. Yeah. Turn based game, I'd say. Yeah, but if but you have any suggestions doing... for what we play next, let us know. Well, we have that list, right? We do, yeah, but we've been going off list a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> I was even thinking, because the thing is, with this one, um, this was a recent mod that we've been able to play this game, I think. Or just like a game on the Game Boy. So, um, I've been... So I picked Fire Emblem also because you had never played a Fire Emblem game before, so I thought it'd be like good exposure for you to play, even though you're not yeah. playing. But like, do you see what it's all about? Um, yeah. But then I had like regrets because I was like, oh my gosh, we should be playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon instead, because that was actually the the games like for me and Rice's 16th birthday party or not party, just for our birthday. Um, we each got a Game Boy Advance and a copy of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. So yeah, I we thinking, played that so much. But also because they just re-released Red Rescue Team on the Switch um, with like updated graphics, which I'm like not into at all. It was really charming the way it was before, so I'm kind of upset that they changed it. Um, yeah. But I just thought it'd be really a nice thing to play, but I don't know. He's says Halo co-op is on the list. I bet that would be amusing. I don't think we're ever going to play Halo. Maybe we should remove that from the list. Argus says kill that new boss as soon as you can. I know. I'm working on it with uh, my archer. The archer that Argus always thinks I overrate. I love the archers. But, um... And... Ogre says, just got me a NVIDIA Shield TV, a small box you connect to your TV and plays all retro consoles up to PlayStation 1. Can't play, can't wait to play Bubble Bobble again. Nice. That sounds cool. I've never heard of it. I see. I mean, like, I've been working my way eastward, but... Very cool. Oh, well, I mean... She's gonna keep fighting, uh... She did quite a bit of damage to the guy. Ooh, but she's not gonna be able to kill him. Now, is this, like... So it says that we're on turn 10 out of 11, so does that mean we have one more whole turn? I assume that's what it means. This guy's like a beefcake. Yeah, I would that's totally be up for playing Double Babble sometime, because I've never played it. Yeah, I mean, we should play it, but you have to be here. I know. You have two more turns. You have to survive both turn 10 and a turn 11. Okay. What was that more? Like, I feel pretty good about surviving. Maybe that's misguided, but um, <sighs> there's just so many people here. I just want to make sure I kill this Pablo guy in time. Do you have your archer? Do you have an archer that can hit someone? Well, I mean, like she can, and she can hit him, oh. but she can't kill him. I mean, if she left the ballista, she could probably kill him. But uh, we'll see. There's probably someone else that can kill him. Argus says you should probably go for the first boss and kill him to end it. He doesn't think you can protect everyone. You don't think so? Um, I feel like. They'll be okay. These people, like, I can outrun them. We can keep retreating to the east, and I think we'll be all right. But there were bad guys to the east. Oh, I know, but um, the thing is, these guys can move forward, you know? Because I was just okay. kind of keeping it like this as a stronghold before, but we can move forward and we'll be all right. Okay. Just don't kill anybody now. If anybody dies, I promise I will, you know, make up for it. 
you know, it's very possible that someone could. Did you did you go into any of those castles? Can you even go into those? No, you can't. But like, see, when you're at them, your defense goes up by two, and your avoid goes up goes up by twenty. I see. Um. So they're good to sit. Put on. your weaker people there. Yeah. Just trying to. Think oh, I them. forgot. What? Ogre asked if we got to listen to the Ron Burgundy Will Ferrell podcast. Oh, I don't really do podcasts like Christ. I know. Here, let me add it to my favorites, and then I will see it. Ron Burgundy. Most of them are good uh, time uh, durations. They're in like, I mean, maybe a little long. They're in more like the 40 minute range. But that's still pretty good. <sighs> Sorry, just gotta really think things through. I don't want anyone to die. Yeah, Ogre says, you're gonna die. <laughs> and then he says that the, the Ron Burgundy podcast is too funny. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Not tomorrow, though, because I'm not working. But, um, yeah, maybe Friday or Monday or Tuesday of next week. Or Wednesday. There's Wednesday just, too. like, so many guys. Well, then why don't you kill the boss, man? Well, because, like... Getting to him, like... Where is he? I don't even know. This guy. Hmm. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So I want this guy's item. So we're gonna prioritize killing him and then we're gonna go for this guy, ignore everybody else. What? Argus says just go for the first boss. No, don't you worry about it, Argus. I got this. Don't kill anybody. Oh, I know, I know. Don't worry, I'm gonna be very careful about it. Cool, this guy can't hurt you um, from close up. That's nice. Oh, that guy's on your team now? Yep, we recruited him. Cool. He's new. All right, cool. So we're gonna get an item from this guy, supposedly. And you're that sure this, this battle's gonna end when I kill the other guy? <laughs> so it kind of suck if we thought that the battle was just gonna end and then it didn't. That's a really good level up. Sometimes His you just dragon. get like plus one on one stat. His dragon is sweet. I Argus, I know I'm gonna use the dancer. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He already, he already messaged that. That was old. Okay, I didn't see it. See, she only does four. She did way more damage to the other guy. But, like, Ross... Oh, I thought Ross could. He can reach... What axe guy? Oh, this axe guy? The beefcake? I guess I scrap that plan. Yeah, I know. He's muttering things to me here. Argus, you know, I'm the tactician here. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, don't don't worry about it, it's fine. Okay, so she does no damage. Gotta take stock in what people can actually do. I'm actually kind of concerned we won't be able to even kill him. He's like too far away from everybody. Do those, um, the knights with the horses, do they ever move? Plus 
that's the thing is like before in this level they were like swarming me and now they're just kind of like back here at a distance which is weird um you know if i kill this guy though then that will give him more movement so let me kill that guy first Someone can kill this guy. I just know it. Ah, she's so close. But between the two of them, they can. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just see if... Sometimes just a different type of magic will work better. Yeah, like that. Good little Archer. Good thing you went back in time and saved him. Yeah. Poor Archer. I didn't mean to let you die that first time. Hopefully... You don't die again this time. Hopefully this whole plan works out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, you know? He doesn't quite have the manpower, but the fact that he can walk there by himself, then the dancer can help someone else get up there to attack. But I just have to be careful about who I choose. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to use the ballista, as Argus keeps saying I should do. Although he said I should use it on the beefcake guy. Why? Just because it does more damage, but like it doesn't kill him. Oh, Ogre's asking, what's our favorite console? Argus says, I think Scrap trying to kill the first boss. He's too tough. Um, but my favorite console out there exposed. And Zephyr says, typing in chat even though he's in the same house? Hmm. He's in the same room. He's just right over there. <laughs> um, yeah, so as far as my favorite console, I might need to say... I feel like growing up, I would have said the Nintendo 64. Growing up, I definitely would have said 64, but I think now my favorite is the Super Nintendo. I'm actually thinking my favorite is also the Super Nintendo. Nice. It's a good one. Um, Ar Argus says you can rescue Archer using a flyer, but the axe guy will be trouble. I I know that, Argus. I had already thought about that <laughs> with the flyer. This, um, is the, this is the trouble with um, the fact that I had Argus play a couple of those levels just to level up our characters. Now he's invested. I see. Um, Ogre, so what's your favorite console? And Zapper too, what's your favorite? Because he says Team SNES. Does that mean you're part of the Super Nintendo Club? I just think the games are so good. And I mean, it's not like the graphics are that bad. Yeah, that guy is tough. Maybe I don't want to kill him. Can you kill him by range? This guy? Yeah. Like, like, can you just keep shooting arrows at him or something? Well, no, because, like, the ballista only does four damage to him. And he's got, like, oh. 46 health. So, um... Yeah. Well, could you weaken him with that and then have someone who can finish him off? Well, so, like, this is the only guy that can... Well, I guess, like, so our flyers can reach him, but they do, like, no damage because his defense is too strong. Hmm. Um, so this this guy is really strong. However, his aim sucks. So, like, he could do 30 damage, but it's not going to kill him, but he's only got a 68% chance of hitting. So, I see. And plus, he would, like, only have 6 HP left after all of that. So that's not really worth it. Um, I think we will just... What about what about magic? We can't get a magic and a magic user in range at this point. Oh, because we but don't have enough turns. If we use the dancer, we could, but um, I feel like it's too risky. Okay. I wonder. So his resistance oh, is twelve, which is pretty good. Zapper says, "Heck yes, I'm from SNES Club." And Ogre says SNES here too. So many good games and love the pixel graphics. Yeah, I mean they're not the the graphics aren't bad. Like I feel I think like they're like super cute. Yeah, I, I like feel them. like as it as graphics have gotten better, it just makes things too realistic looking or too cartoony. Yeah, it's not as um, fun. Yeah. 
Hey, it critical. That was cool. Nice. Um. So yeah, I think the games are just they're just spot on. So like, if I were to buy another console, which I mean, I'm probably not going to. Um, I mean, unless unless you Tiger wanted the the PS5, but I don't know if we're gonna do that. Um, I don't really care. <laughs> but uh, we might if I were to buy if I were to buy a system for me, it'd definitely be the SNES. We might be in trouble. Just so you know. Why? So I sent the flyer in to go, um, cause yeah, we had that like person on the wyvern or like little dragon thing. Yeah. Um, so I had him go in and so then I was like, well, no problem. Like just like he's not there by himself getting targeted by all these people. And now he is by himself. Well, no, so the thing is, I sent the flyer in to go rescue him, but the thing is, normally the flyer, she can pick someone up and travel quite a distance, so I was like, she'll be able to take him somewhere safe. But I think because maybe he's so heavy, like, because he's got, like, his own mount and stuff, she can only move to one of these four spaces, and, like, she's totally gonna be in range of, like, all these guys. Um, so we might be in trouble. I have to see. Could you move other people nearby so that... There's That's what we're gonna have to people. do. Everyone's gonna have to unite, and uh, I don't like the way this is going. Um, Does anyone have super good defense? Well, that's the thing. These two guys do. Well, she's a girl, but whatever. These two do. But they're then, all the way over here, um, and they can't really help. But we can. Let me see. These guys aren't that strong. I mean, like. Their defense isn't that good, so I don't know. Things are gonna be a little um, risky here. That's the way I'm gonna put it. Okay. So let me just kind of toy around with some things. I'm sorry. I know we're way past eight. I mean, it's eight ten, but <sighs> I'm sorry. And we can always stop it. I mean, we're at a very um, no, but I feel like we're near the end, so we might as well just finish it. Yeah, we're at a very, like, nail-biting point right now. Things could go anyway. Okay. Can you attack them? What, these guys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm working on it. Okay. I'm just kind of, like, trying to come up with a plan. I don't want to just go in there with no plan. Um, so I just want to know, like, how many we're able to kill, and, yeah, I guess that's really about it at this point. Zebra says, bonus minutes. Yeah. <laughs> because of yeah, we also, mistakes. We also started a little late, because I was making my whipped cream, so. We did. Not that um, late, though, but. <sighs> 15 minutes, maybe. No. Because I swear, the first time I made the whipped cream, it, it whipped together, like, so quickly. But the other times I've made it, I just feel like it takes forever. And did so... You, did you refrigerate your, um... The bowl? Yeah. No, I didn't. I thought about it, and then I was like, eh, that's extra effort. Um, but I probably should. Um, well, so, okay, just so you know... I don't know why I didn't think about this earlier. So just to have an idea of like how badly this um, flyer can get hurt. Mm -hmm. So this this flyer has very similar stats to that girl. Um, okay. So we can just kind of see like, okay, so she'd get hurt 10 from that guy. Um, that's a, you know, this is all assuming that she gets hit. Six from right. that guy. Why is this person so much worse? I don't know. Um, and those are the only two I can really... Actually, no. I can check. So the magic user can only hurt her one health. Okay. I think, yeah, just... We just gotta focus on the, um, the axe guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. It's all right. We we got this. We can recover. I think. Fingers crossed. You know. Okay. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay. Zephyr, are you doing anything interesting or fun for the Fourth of July? And Ogre, you're in Sweden, so what is your equivalent to the 4th of July? If you have one. Zephyr says, what day is that on again? It's Saturday. I was thinking about pulling my paddleboard out, but I'm afraid that all of the waterways will be packed, so I think I'm just gonna wait. Zephyr says, wow, already here. Yeah, today's July 1st. We're already in July. Yeah. And this has been a really hot summer. I think, so far. It has been hot. Because I was thinking, because I got married three years ago, but, so, tomorrow, um, this year, it's going to be, like, super hot, like, mid-80s. Um, the day I got married, it was mid seventies and beautiful. So we got so lucky with the weather, especially because the venue was outside. Zapper's got no plans. That's okay. I mean, we don't really have plans either. I was thinking about buying burgers so that we could have burgers. <laughs> And maybe make baked beans or something. I guess I could make zucchini casserole if I wanted to be like mom, but I think that's too much work. I know. And I then know. I. I don't know. And then we might do a fire and invite Cookie over. I am so sorry. This is, I'm just like so indecisive. Just. Put someone up there. Someone with good defense. Or you, at least defense. You say that, but like, we don't have like that many people with that good of defense. <laughs> I just want um, them to be able to kill more people, you know? Yeah. So Zapper, we, uh, we don't have enough space for a bonfire. We don't, our yard isn't that big, but we do have one of those like little, um, those metal fire pits. So like, I don't know, it's maybe three foot diameter, maybe two and a half. Um, so it's, it's fairly small, but you can still have a fire. You can still do marshmallows and stuff. And then use my awesome pie iron that I got at a garage sale. Um, so yeah, so, so that's what we're working with. When, when we were kids, we used to go out to rural Ohio and we would do giant bonfires because our grandpa had a farm. So he had like 80 acres or something. Um, so that was pretty cool. And Ogre says that Sweden's national holiday is June 6th, but no one celebrates it, just a day off work, which is nice, of course. Yeah, days off of work is definitely nice. Um, yeah, I, I mean, a lot of times, we don't really do anything special for the 4th. Sometimes we don't even go see fireworks. But this year, we're definitely not doing fireworks. But yeah, and so since the 4th is on a Saturday, um, we actually don't get any day off of work, but we do get a floating holiday so we can use it wherever. Which is nice, but it'd be kind of cool to have Friday off. Yeah, June sixth came and went. Yeah. It's close to close to Cookie's anniversary. Yeah. June eighth is mine. Mm-hmm. Gosh, there's just so many decisions to make, you know? Argus says Irika can kill one of the full health guys and someone can get danced and finish off the weaker one. I know, I know. It's just a matter of like getting myself to actually commit because the only thing I'm scared of is like so, you know, I'm just, 
looking at people's stats, and I mean, I guess his resistance is pretty bad too. Cause like, I haven't done any damage to like these two guys, and like, we'll be okay, we'll be okay. Uh, and Argus says use the rapier so her avoid stays higher. That's a good idea. Oh cool, she criticaled. It wasn't necessary, but she did it. Alright, Irika. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What level is the dancer? Eight. Okay, because she gets like no experience. I know. I think it's just the assumption that like you're supposed to dance every turn, and I try to make sure she does, but sometimes I forget. Mm hmm. Now I'm just wondering. Well, then I put the dancer in danger. I don't want to do that. So I was gonna say I'm like. Just... Oh. Oh, uh, I mean, whatever. That's not really what I meant to do, but that works. <laughs> I meant to just okay. scout out more things and just think some more. Okay. Um, all right, well, I think at this point, that's all we can do. Okay. Um, actually, no, I can kill this guy. Yeah. Go for it. Oh, shoot. That could have been bad. Archer almost died again. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Wow. Yeah, so she's our new person, but um, she did an upgrade. So she's this, you know, big army armor yeah. person now. Okay. So, I think at this point, now we're done. Although... Okay. So I just realized that, um... UN... is, um, in range of... Why don't you move him to a castle? Well, I'm gonna just move him here because then he's out of range. You can move him to that castle though. What what castle? This one? The one up, up, up. He's fine. I mean, as long as he's not in range of anyone, he can just sit right here. Okay. Um okay. Alright, I think we're ready. We will see how things play out. I hope you're ready. <laughs> well that was the longest turn ever. I know. This is a very delicate situation, okay? I guess. You guess? Are you kidding me? Did you see how much trouble we were in? I did. Our people are like being champs at dodging though, which is always nice to see. <laughs> That's all right. He's got lots of health and he's got lots of defense, so he'll be mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, like, could you have put him in one of those castles? I could have, but um, because then I would open up the route so that people could infiltrate our area, so I didn't want to do that. Okay. It's just so now that their guys are in the castles. Yeah. But I think this is our last turn. Or maybe okay. we've got one more. I don't remember at this point. Well, all I have to say is good thing Ross was there to take Arter back, because Arter would have yeah. for sure. Yep, this is the last turn. Yeah, okay. So... Because the thing is, like, I know that they're in the castles right now, and that kind of stinks. But I think we'll just, like, bring our guy back a little bit. 
Um, Just it, one square? Yeah, but like that one's, actually I'll take him back two squares. Cause the thing is like, as it is right now, he could be totally like almost surrounded by people attacking him. Whereas yeah. if you move him back two, then you've only got like, you know, a couple. Yeah. So you gotta really work the small openings in this game. Okay, let's see. All right, it's all right. I think we're in the clear, but um, I don't. I'm gonna to put a I'm gonna put a hard stop at eight thirty if you're not done. Okay, I will try to be quicker. Um, I mean, I'm all for not letting our people die, but yeah. But you're uh, taking a while. I this game is like it takes a lot of time to really be careful. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's just so many things. And you can always sign off if you want. I don't know. I don't want to leave you by yourself. Okay. We're twinning. We are twinning. <clears throat> I mean, we probably should have just... I mean, we were at a very suspenseful moment, so of course we had to keep going, but we probably should have just stopped, and then I could have played on my own time in a less stressful environment. <laughs> Make sure, okay, so you're in range. Um, well, so right now, just so you know what I'm thinking. Because these two both have like a range where they could hit this guy who's like, his defense yeah. is good. So I'm just trying to be cautious and make sure everybody survives. Can you, can you kill either of them? I'm looking at it. Because you could heal the guy, right? Well, not if he dies in one turn. No, I mean, your axe guy, like... If oh, you're I mean, worried I'm, about his health. No, I'm only worried about this guy's health. Okay. Because, like, if he's in range of these people and his his defense is lower than, like, what this guy's is. Right. I'm not concerned about Ross. He's fine. I mean, it looks like right now they... Oh, I see. Never mind. Gosh, we gotta get her attack up. Mm. All right, well, if we have to, we can use the dancer and get this guy to a safer place, but, What do you think? Should we retreat, or should we go ahead and try and kill these guys? I thought these guys were weak, weren't they? They are weak. I'd say try and kill them then. Okay. Gosh, that's such a waste. He's got, like, no health, that guy. Let me hand. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if everyone can kill one on their own, grand, like, this guy's almost dead anyways, but... Okay. We'll see what we can do. Right, I think everyone should be able to hit anyone, so that's not a concern. Okay, so 
we can kill either them and we can kill we can't kill that. And you don't have to kill them, just kill most of them. <laughs> you overthink it. I definitely overthink it. Okay. Because hurry up, we only got two more minutes. I'm working on it. Just go for it. Yeah. Because he could critical, you never know. But I figure at the mm -hmm. very least, his um, defense is pretty good. So like as it is, we kind of have like a wall going on. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, and you know what? Ogre Erica. says, you grills should try the game A Way Out. Online co-op game that only works when two people playing from the people who made Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. Pretty you good. Know, I've heard of that game. You played it? Um, We've played Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. No, I've heard of A Way Out. Well, I know, but I'm saying we've played it. We did, yeah. Um, Cause it's like two people that are trying to escape from jail. Hmm. And so like you play it from like both of their point of view kind of thing. Gosh, why is her aim so bad? Just go for it. I know. All right, she got it. Cause it is 8.30. It is 8.30, but, okay, hang on. We are almost- I know, but I have to go to bed. It's, we're gonna wake up early. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Cause at this point, Because we have to do the enemy's turn, I think. You do. Yeah, I know. I know, that's... but you're taking so long. It's almost done. Hang on. I need to still make breakfast for tomorrow and then go to bed. Okay. There. I'm making done with our turn. We're done with our turn. Now we just have the enemy phase, which like goes so fast. Because they're good at making decisions. <laughs> Darn Ross. All right, so that's it. That's the end. All, All right. right. So um, we will stop here for today, and um, I will play a level sometime over the, the next week, and then we will play the next level on Wednesday. Sounds good. All right. And Ogre says that, yeah, he he likes a way out. Um, only one have to buy it and can invite any friend to play it together. It's on PS4, Xbox, and PC. All right, cool. Oh, it's a, it's a third year anniversary. Oh, happy 4th. Gotcha. Yes, happy 4th of July. <laughs> yes. Yep, no problem. Thanks for the, the well wishes. Right. Yeah, hope you guys all have a happy 4th, too. Yeah, have a good weekend and have a good 4th of July. We'll yep. see you next week. Yep, bye. Right. Bye.